Hello everyone, my name is Matt and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanna show you a new lesson I just made about recycling. I designed this lesson for grade four, but it could also work for grade three or grade five. So in this lesson, they're gonna learn all about recycling, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle, recyclable, recycling bin. They're gonna learn six different materials that can be recycled. So I think it's just a great lesson. I had a lot of fun making it actually, and I'm surprised I didn't make this before because I just think it's a really like awesome topic and kids can really get a lot out of it. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you want, you can download this lesson yourself and you can teach it to your own class. So you can either use Shopify, uh, you can use SendOwl, or you can go to my Taobao store and you can download it there. So if you guys enjoy videos like this, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. And if you wanna download the lesson, don't forget you can do that as well. So let's get right into uh, the run through and yeah, let's check out this PowerPoint. All right, let's have a look at this PowerPoint. So as with all my PowerPoints, we start with the classroom rules and yeah, my classroom management stuff. And then we jump right into the lesson. So in this lesson, they're learning about recycling. So the first thing I want to establish is the problem that, that the world has with trash. Um, so I'll show them this slide first. What problem do we, what problem do you see in this picture? And you can have the students raise their ha hands and say what they see and anything they know about it, and you can write it on the board, okay? You spend a minute, a few minutes with this part. Then um, maybe one of the students said the word trash prior, but maybe not. Uh, they might also say the word rubbish. You can have them write that down as well. It's British English. Um, I don't really teach that word. I always teach the word trash, but it's fine if they raise their hand and say that word. It's totally fine. You can have them, you can write on the board and have them write that word down as well. So trash are items that we blank because they are no longer needed or wanted. Um, some students might raise their hand and already know what you're looking for there. If they don't, you can prompt them with the Chinese, or if you're teaching in Korea, you can change that to Korean or Japan. You can change that to Japanese. As with all of my PowerPoints, they are totally editable. So if you download them, you can change uh, the Chinese that's already on here into any language you like. Um, once they see that, some of the students might know. They raise their hand. They say, throw away. Excellent. Have them write down their notebook. All right, then show them this and some of the students might know it. Um, as I've said many PowerPoints or many videos before, I like to show them a picture and the word in their first language first to see if they know it. It's a great way to teach them, improve their long-term memory of the word. So where are these trash trucks going? Um, some students might raise their hand and give you some answers. Uh, they might already know, but they don't know it in, in English. Okay, so here I show them in Chinese, have them write in their notebook, see who knows it. Uh, so trash trucks take the trash to a place called a, what is it? That's right, it's a landfill, okay, a landfill. Um, and then each person in the world makes between one kilogram and 2.5 kilograms of trash each day. It varies, right? Americans make a lot more trash um, than Chinese. I think Chinese is somewhere like 1.5, but then there's some people in the world that make less than that. Um, but I wanna keep it uh, in, in this average, because this is the average uh, in the developed world. Um, so that's why I have it here. We're the ones that produce the most trash. Um, they can write this down in their notebook and you should tell them they should write it down in their notebook because the next pop quiz is gonna be much easier for them if they are aware of what the numbers were. So how many kilograms of trash does each person make per year? So now they need to know to take that number that they just had and multiply it by the amount of days in the year, which should be 365. So they're already gonna know 365 is the beginning of the range. And if they can do the math, which Chinese students love to do, they can figure out that um, it should be C, okay? Because they take 2.5, multiply it by 365, and they're gonna get 912.5 kilograms. In my experience, the Chinese students really love to do the math and be really quick and raise their hand. Um, you can leave a comment below if wherever you are, the students also like to do that. So what can we do to make less trash in our daily lives? So this is where we're getting into the idea of recycling, okay? And why we should recycle, but there's something called the three R's, okay? So you can present this to them and then let them think for a second, what are the three R's for making less trash? They probably don't know them. Some of them might know recycling potentially, but they might not know the other ones. Some of them might if they learned it. Um, I, this was bashed into my head when I was a kid. <laughs> they would teach us this constantly. We had to sing songs and everything. So um, I think it's really great language for all students around the world to learn in English. Okay, so the first one is reduce. 
They can write it down in the notebook. Uh, reduce means to lower the, uh, the number of things we throw away. You can have uh, students raise their hand to read this for points, or you can have an entire team read it. All right, so they'll understand exactly what this means because they, they see it in their first language, okay? And then you can show them an example, right? So we can reduce by using a special bag many times instead of using a bag only once and then throwing it away. If they use this bag, you can in class explain a little bit better, right? If they use this bag, they can use it many, many, many times, okay? But if they use this one, they'll have to put it in the trash can. It'll end up in a landfill. So they go to the store 10 times. With this one, nothing's in the landfill. They do it 10 times with this one, 10 of those bags are in the landfill. Okay, you can explain that, you know. Okay, next one should be reuse. Again, you can have students raise their hand to read it. And then you can show them this example, right? So we can reuse old products in a new way instead of throwing them away. So here we're using it as a like a pot for a plant. And here it just ends up in the trash. Okay. And of course we have recycle. Okay, recycle. Recycle means to make new products from old products. And here you can see it changes here. It's changing. Okay, some students might notice that. And then you can show them that, okay, recycle is a verb. Okay, what is the noun? What is the noun for this? And the noun for this is the name of this lesson, which is recycling. Okay, you can have them write them both down. And then what is this thing? It's a recycling bin. This is just good language for them to know. Okay, put things in the recycling bin. We put all things to be recycled into a recycling bin. Okay, and then of course, what do we call things that can be recycled? All right, so I'm making sure they learn all the vocab for this. You got recycle, recycling, reduce, reuse, uh, recycling bin, and then of course, this word, very important, okay? So things that we can throw in the recycling bin are called recyclable, okay? And you can show them like this. Able to be recycled. Able to be recycled equals recyclable. They can see the word able at the end here, okay? Some of them might have already learned this word, able, okay? All right, so how does recycling work? You can show them, you know, they have used bottles, they go to the recycling plant, and then new bottles come out. Okay, very basic, but they can see that taking something which is old and making something new out of it, it's recycling, okay? Okay, so the next thing I have here is a song. I have a link to it here, a link to YouTube. Uh, maybe you have a short class and you don't have enough time to sing a song, or maybe you do. If you have like a longer class, uh, you can sing the song with them. The song is really good for getting these three words into their head, reduce, reuse, recycle. It says it many times. Um, but if you have a short class, the song could take up too much time, so you might want to skip it and maybe use it in a, in a review or in the future you can show it to them. Like, in the, in, If you decide to split this class into two different lessons, which I think is totally possible, uh, there's a decent amount of material here, so it might be difficult to get through it in one single class, but I'm kind of giving everyone a really good deal here by putting this all in one lesson and selling it as one lesson instead of splitting it into two, which I could have easily done and, you know, made it more expensive, but I'm giving it to you in one lesson. So just be aware of that when you're teaching this, that it might be a little bit too much material for a single lesson, which I think is totally fine. You just get as far as you can get and then uh, spend, um, do it in the second lesson. You know, you can review a little bit from the first part and then jump into the second one. It happens to me when I'm teaching, you know, stuff happens and I can't finish a lesson. So I end up splitting it up. It's totally fine. Okay. Then we have a writing activity. This writing activity is designed to have them uh, really uh, like concept check what they just learned. Okay. All those new words. So I have a slide here. Tell them to write down the notebook one to eight. I like to have it as a slide here, a full slide. So they actually stop and do it. If you tell them to do it and then start showing them the questions, they might not do it. All right, so here is uh, the word bank, and there are four different questions here that need to be need to fill in the blanks. Okay, so then and here's the other four. So there's eight in total. Give them you know five minutes to do all that. Um, if they took good notes just before, it should be very very easy. And then check their answers. So you can have uh, go one by one have. You know, team one go, and then team two go, and then team three go, and then team four go. Or if you just have two teams, then one, two, one, two. Or you can play it as a game. If you have time, you can have them run to the board and write their answers down, uh, which is totally fine. You could gamify this activity. <laughs> you know, bring bring up the students and be like, number one, write on the board. Number two, write on the board, and then check. Okay, it's up to you totally. Okay, then you can read each one with the class. And yeah, it's just a concept checking thing. A lot of material there in the beginning. Like I said. This could be two lessons, so 
take your time with it. Try not to rush it. Um, it's never a bad thing to have extra material that you can uh, then use in another class so you don't have to create a second lesson. All right, let's go on to teaching part two. Okay, so in the next part of this lesson, they're going to talk about the materials that are recyclable. So the first word they need to know is the word materials. As you know, I like to see what they know. I like to make them think. So here, I leave a blank. They see the, the word in their first language, which again can be changed to any language, any language you like, and then see if they know it. They should write it down. Okay, then present the question again. Give them time to think what materials are recyclable. And there are pictures here now to get them to brainstorm. So you can ask them what they think they are. They can write them in their notebook. What do you think these six things are, okay? And they can also write down this word, recyclable materials, or these, these two words. Okay, and then let's go through each one, okay? Some are very easy, so they can raise their hand and tell you, paper. So what products are made from paper? They can brainstorm, okay? On the board, you can write down each one as they go. So paper, and you can have them brainstorm. You can write, they can raise their hand and tell you, and you can write them down, okay? Next one, okay, right next to paper, See if they know this one, raise their hand, they tell you, no one knows it, no one knows it, someone knows it, someone knows it. All right, what is it? Plastic, that's right, okay? What products are made from plastic? They can raise their hand, they're gonna say water bottle, great job, what else is made from plastic that we can recycle? Okay, and then, or just even what's made from plastic. At this point, you don't have to tell them, well, that's not recyclable, that's not recyclable. Okay, and go through each one. So we have steel, same drill, have them write down, or have them tell you what's, what products are made from steel. Next one is glass. Then we have cardboard. And then we have aluminum. Now, I'm teaching the American way here, aluminum. If someone says aluminum, you can say, yes, that's the British way. You can write it on the board. It's actually spelled different than this, okay? Um, you know, so it's up to you. I didn't want to confuse them. Al aluminum is already a hard word. So I don't want to be like aluminum and then aluminum. You're going to have the kids like, Pfft. hopefully they master one of them. If you're if you're British and want to change this to aluminum, or if you grow up spe uh, saying aluminum, then change it. You know, again, you can edit this PowerPoint. I'm just leaving it as, you know, the American English way. That's the way I was raised to say it. So that's the way I say it. Okay. Let's say them again. So you can go one by one again. Paper, plastic, glass, aluminum, steel, cardboard. Great job. Play the quick say game. The teacher says the word, they say the number. Quickest students get points, reverse it. The teacher says the number, the students say the, the word. Quickest student gets points. You can play it, you can call on one student from each team to play. You can play it with the whole class. Totally up to you. Then we have the flying words game. Okay, so people love this game. Students love this game. I love this game. Everyone loves this game. Okay, so push it, thing flies by. The first student to say what it was. In this case, it was steel gets two points to their team or whatever. Round two, what was that? Good job, plastic. Next one, what was that? Oh, too quick, you push back, do it again, see it again, yeah, cardboard, good job. Rinse and repeat all the way to the end, okay? Great way to get them excited. Students absolutely love this game, okay? Then we have a slow reveal game. Again, another classic, works every time, students like it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I have all the words here again, right before you play the game, you can have them say them again to practice their pronunciation. Glass, paper, steel, plastic, aluminum, cardboard. Who would like to say them all? All right, you stand up. You put point at them. Glass, paper, steel, plastic, aluminum, cardboard. Good job, who else wants to say it? All right, you stand up, say them. Glass, paper, steel, plastic, aluminum, cardboard. Who can say it really quickly? And then someone stands up. Glass, paper, steel, plastic, aluminum, cardboard. Good job. What's the first one? Whole class is playing. That's right, it is plastic. Good job, everyone, plastic, good. Next one. Okay, it's steel, good. So, quick say game, fun, effective, gets them excited, not too difficult. It's a great game for drilling new vocab. Okay, so let's uh, get to the next part of the lesson. Let's get to the meat of the lesson, the fun, well, not the meat, just the, the part with the actual dialogue. It's coming soon, all right? So uh, the next game here is name the, name the material, okay? So you'll show them a product, okay? And you will have students say what they think it is. So the way you can play this game is call on stu two students from different teams, uh, like, for example, like this. So it's like this. Let's just go into the actual game so you can see it. So the, the game is going to, 
Why aren't you going to that? Right, there we go. The game will look like this. So you'll have two students. You'll show them a material or thing, not a material, a product. And they need to tell you what they think it's made from. Okay, so it's not a quick game. They can they can either write down on their notebook what it is. They can write it on the board what it is. They can just say it. It's up to you. I think a, a fun way to play this might be to like give them both their, a little if they if you have little whiteboards they can write on, and not not show the other not show the other person. Or they can just do it on the board. Or they can just say what they think it is. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Write it on the board, or just remember what they said, and then. Okay, well, for example, <laughs> sorry, one person says glass, the other person says steel, or one person says cardboard, the other person says plastic, whatever. Then you reveal the answer. The answer is cardboard. Okay, so the, the student who got it right can get like two points. If both of them got it right, they both can get two points. Then you can say cardboard is recyclable. You have the whole class say it. You want them to remember the word and the word recyclable in the sentence. Then you can tell them these are called toilet paper tubes. Okay, the tubes inside toilet paper. Okay. Bring up two more students, show them, okay? What do you think this is made from? Someone says steel, another person says paper. Both are wrong, it should be aluminum. Again, have the whole class say the sentence. You can tell them they're called aluminum trays or trays. And rinse and repeat with more students, okay? Again, simple concept, but very effective because they're gonna have to think. What is that made from? Uh, what is that called again? Oh yeah, that's plastic. Good job, okay? And I think there's a few more here. This one's also paper. And then we got more paper. And then we got, oh yeah, what do we got here? They're nails, so steel, okay? That's the way that game works. Okay, so now we have a dialogue game. If you've seen my lessons before, you know I like to play these kind of games because they're fun, they're interactive, and they're very effective. Okay, so the language here is what materials are recyclable? And then we have the six materials. And you can say, for example, paper is a recyclable material. Plastic is a recyclable material, and so on. So you bring up two students, okay? One student asks the question, the other student answers the question, and they choose one of these recyclable materials. Based on what they choose, you click on that thing. So if they say glass is a recyclable material, click on glass, it'll take them to the slide about glass. Then the first student, the one that asked the other question will then say, what products are made from glass? And this student needs to choose one of these, okay? Now, in the beginning of the game, they should be able to say some of these. You know, there's going to be some slides like five or four or six on them. They probably don't need help, okay? But eventually in the lesson, they might need help. They're, you can make it so they get extra points if they know what the product is already without you helping them. It doesn't matter, okay? The point is they're going to get points by choosing one and then also by spinning the wheel so it doesn't really matter here if they don't know which either one is like what these are you can help them okay so you say which one do you want and they say oh they want this one so you go okay click it okay, that's a jar so it should be jar S jars are made from glass we must recycle them so what products are made from glass jars are made from glass and we must recycle them they get they get five points excuse me then you click the spinning wheel then they get to spin the wheel Stop the wheel, nine points. So five plus nine is 14. That round, they get 14 points. They sit down, bring up two more students, same drill. One student asks the other student. These two students, by the way, are on the same team. This time the student says aluminum. So aluminum is a recyclable material or they say aluminum, it's fine. You click on it, okay? What products are made from aluminum? Okay, so they can choose here, okay? Let's say they decide to choose this one. They say, ah, 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 those are cans. Good job. Soda cans. So soda cans are made from aluminum. We must recycle them. That's four points. Then they click this. They spin the wheel. Six. Six plus four. I like to do that as well in my class. You'll know that if you watch my videos. Six plus four equals ten. Okay, ten points for their team. Bring up two students from the next team or two students from the previous team, whatever. You might have only two teams. I'm going to say, what materials are recyclable? You can also have the class ask this question again if you think the person up there didn't do it well or you just feel like drilling the whole class. Uh, then they say this time, oh, paper is a recyclable material. All right, paper. Oh, there's a lot of stuff up here. So you, the one student asks, what products are made from paper? There's lots of stuff to choose from here now, okay? Um, they might need your help. In grade four, I don't think. I think they can identify some of these. Have them say the ones they know. Okay, so let's say they know the word book. All right, good. So books, 
make sure books are made from paper. We must recycle them. Good job. Spinning wheel. Spin the wheel. Nine. Nine plus the previous three is 12. 12 points their tally. And rinse and repeat. Okay, you can continue this with all of uh, these. There's a bunch, okay? Um, each slide's gonna be like this. So again, student asks the question. The other student answers. Let's say they choose this one. That's right, old cars. Oops, this is a mistake by teacher Matt. I need to remove the S here. I'll fix that before I release this in my store, but it should be old car and then they add the S. So old cars are made from steel. We must recycle them. So four points, spinning wheel. Good, add them to their team. Okay, same thing we got uh, for plastic. We got a bunch of stuff here. So we got water bottle soap dispenser, shampoo bottle, milk jug. Don't expect the kids to know all these. If they're pointing at this one, they just know it's soap, that's fine. You, you tell them it's soap dispenser. And also they can write these words in their notebook. Some of the students will be writing it down anyway. If they do, praise them, tell them good job. But if they start holding the class up like, teacher, I need to write all these words down. It's taking forever, be like, look, you know, I'll send these to you after class. I'll send them to your parents. You don't need to write them all down now. Some students are quick and can take notes before, you know, you need to go to the next slide. Some of them are gonna be like, teacher, 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 I gotta write it down. If that's the case, tell them we don't have time. Okay, we don't have time for that. All right, and of course we got cardboard, we got boxes, we got card, we got toilet paper tubes. We got all the good stuff, okay? You get the picture, okay? So it's a lot of rinsing and repeating saying the the dialogue it's two questions two answers lots of fun lots of fun the kids really like these games okay so that's how it works it's not it's not very complicated but trust me it is very effective and i like to build the powerpoints this way so that way you know i can keep going back and forth you know and they get to drill a bunch of times um i like to i like to play games like this now because if you're going to have a class that's interactive like this you want it to be you know you want you want them to be able to get a lot out of it, okay? And yeah, after they go through all these, you can do a quick review. Um, and you can also take this review and add it to future PowerPoints. You're, not, you're probably not gonna do this slide during the first class, but in the future, if you wanna use it, that's fine. And then uh, there's a writing activity here, which I think would work well for homework, okay? So you can send this to their parents for homework and they can write their answers and they can show you or turn in the the, these questions, um, you know, in the following class or in the following class, you can show them and show them again and be like, who wants to tell me their answer for number one, number two, number three, they stand up and read their answers, practice their English. That's what you want. Um, yeah. And that's the whole lesson. Okay. It's not a very complicated lesson, but I think it's pretty effective and yeah, I think it'll work really well in your class. All right, that's the end of the lesson. I really hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did and you want to use this lesson in your own class, don't forget you have a few options. You can go to my Shopify store and purchase it there. Uh, you can use a link in the description below and you can download it directly from Sendowl or you can go to my Taobao store and you can purchase it there and I will email it over to you as quick as I possibly can. As always, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy, enjoy me taking the time to create these lessons and create these videos, please hit that like button. That really helps out my channel. And subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.